Hello dreamers, welcome to another video of our channel, Here We Grow. And I'm still here and I'm not gonna stop to share my experience being on keto and I want to help you guys to improve your health. Like in many videos I mentioned, I'm not here so you can lose weight. That's, I mean, that's one of the things, but also I want to help you to improve your health. That's the thing that it's most important for me because that was the reason why I start ketogenic diet. In this video, again, a topic that it will benefit the people who want to start ketogenic diet or people who are at the beginning of this lifestyle. In today's video, I want to talk about how to start keto for the beginners what to do and what not to do stay till the end of this video so you will hear all the recommendation that i have for my personal experience to share with you guys first the most important thing that i will mention is the research in the previous episode, I was talking about healthy and unhealthy fats. That's the main thing. Ketogenic diet is about eating healthy fats. If you're watching this channel, you can check all the videos that I'm talking about keto. I have a lot of videos who are actually for those topics, like for beginners, how to start, where to start, what kind of food to eat, what kind of drinks, fats, percentage, what, what to avoid, what you can substitute, a lot of healthy information. Every person who asks me how I start ketogenic diet, the first thing that I'm saying is don't start immediately with ketogenic diet. It's very hard, I'm not gonna lie, so first, try to avoid certain type of food. So that's how I start. You decide what you're gonna eliminate first. Me personally, I start with sugar. First thing, I eliminated sugar. I was sugar free for maybe two months, not full two months, but almost two months. That was the first thing that I cut because I know that it will be very bad. The second thing that I cut was the carbs, but not all the carbs. I cut uh, bread, I cut pastries, like everything that it's like a pastry, breadish things, I cut. Then I stopped eating rice, I stopped eating potatoes, I stop eating those kind of carb slash starchy food. And then officially I start to be on keto. I was going certain period without one group of food. And for me that made the path to ketogenic diet much more easier. I will recommend to do the same because I know how hard it is to stop everything at once. Another thing that I will suggest to do is um, before you start, clean your kitchen, clean your apartment. Everything that you don't gonna need for ketogenic diet, throw away or give it away to someone else. That way you will not gonna see those things and you will not gonna interrupt your process. Like at the beginning you will be strong and full with energy, I got this. Uh, I don't care about the rest of the food, but in a way you might be distracted if you see something. So um, you know yourself the best way. If you're a person that can easily be distracted, I recommend to clean your kitchen and your apartment from all those things. You can, if you want, you can eat them all and then start, or like I said, you can give them away to other people who wants to eat those things, like chips, anything that it's not a part of ketogenic diet. Even there is one thing that when I was starting, my sister uh, told me that um, 
if I can be easily distracted, I can uh, arrange in the kitchen one cabinet that it will be just for me and everything else I will put in the other cabinets and control yourself not to open the other cabinets. Just know your cabinet and that's the cabinet that you need where to look for food. Another thing that helped me a lot when I was studying and also I will recommend for beginners is uh, watching motivational videos. You can subscribe this channel. I have a lot of those uh, motivational videos and also explaining and helping you guys what to eat, what uh, how to, to do better on keto. Also, there is a lot of other channels that you can follow and uh, they can motivate you to do better. Also, there is a lot of groups, supporting groups on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, where you can exchange and talk about uh, this diet with other people. I know that I'm one of the people who are not recommending a lot of people to know that you're on ketogenic diet, but when I will say that, I mean about your uh, surrounding, like your uh, close friends and family. Why? Because uh, I want to protect you not to hear those uh, not motivational conversations. Protect yourself from those kind of uh, comments and the best thing is if you want support, if you want to talk with someone, become a member of those groups on Facebook, Instagram, uh, or Twitter, where you will uh, become a member and you know that all the people there are on ketogenic diet and you can benefit from those group. There is not gonna be a comment who will push you back. So, keto beginners, when you're going in a supermarket to shop, read labels. If you already uh, do your research and do all these things that I mentioned, you will already know what you can and what you can't eat on ketogenic diet. So that means whatever you're shopping, in a supermarket, you need to be very careful with the labels. I mentioned this in one of the previous videos and I also will start in near future to make videos where I will present to you a products from different stores that they have the sign keto certified or keto friendly and to present to you how friendly they are for keto. And the most important thing for beginners is the proportionizing. That's something that all the beginners are failing. You should know the proper percentage of your meals. Also, that's a part of the, your research, to learn what is the proper percentage for ketogenic diet. A lot of people are failing on this, so that's why be very careful uh, what you are eating. Don't be confused with proteins. So I mentioned this so many times. A lot of people are failing on that because they're thinking if they eat meat, they are eating fat, and that's not true. Eating meat, it means you're eating protein, and that's not the ketogenic diet. So that's why research what is the proper percentage, 70, 25, 5. You can go a little above and a little lower, but most of the time in general, stick to 70% of healthy fats in your meal. So those are all my recommendations for beginners, what to do and what not to do. Like I said, I'm saying those things to protect you, not to do anything bad for you. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. You can subscribe below the video. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, comments, leave them below. And can't wait to see you next time. Bye, dreamers.